Hello everyone, oh my goodness, this feels so good to be sitting down and filming. Amelia is asleep, so I thought I would quickly film a video just getting ready, showing you a lot of the products that I've been using over the last couple of months when I do slap on a face to go out. I'm trying to fight a cold at the moment. This morning I'm like, okay, I think it's got me, my voice feels a bit different. So excuse the, um, the deep tones. <laughs> Okay, I've got two primers here by Astralis. The first one is the Blemish Buster Primer. This contains evening primrose oil and salicylic acid. And at the moment, I've just been having a lot of breakouts. It is really doing my head in. Astralis has repackaged their fresh and flawless range. So all their primers, the foundation, the um, face palette, it's all got this fun, bright, do you call that a yellow or a green? I'm not sure, but you definitely won't miss it. And then I'm going to use the See You Later Pores Primer. Now this has been a favorite of mine from them for a long time. Let me find, this is the old packaging here. And it's similar to the Benefit Pore Professional, how it's that like a silicon base primer, really fills in the pores and just smooths everything out. It is so nice. All right, for foundation, I'm going to mix some of the L'Oreal True Match. As you can see, I've had to yank the lid off to get to the bottom of it. And some of the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Foundation. This is like my go-to when it comes to longevity. And then I'm going to use this Kmart buffing brush to apply it. I've been getting back into using brushes to blend out my foundation and then just going over the top with a sponge to make sure there are no brush marks left. Oh my god, but anyway, how has everyone been? Thank you all for your patience with my uploads lately. I, like, knew YouTube would slow down for me, but I wasn't expecting it to slow down this much. I feel like motherhood really just surprised me. <laughs> surprised me in so many ways. I really wasn't expecting to have such little time to myself and that probably sounds a bit stupid or like a bit naive but you know I thought like oh well when she naps I'll do things or I don't know I just thought I'd have more time to myself and I just don't. Amelia is still contact napping on me we are actually in the midst of transitioning to cot naps because I've come to the time where I'm over it. <laughs> well not over it like I love contact napping I love sitting there cuddling with her she feels safe, it's just nice to rest and relax, but I would like, you know, at least one or two naps a day where she's in the cot and I can have some time to myself because I am really missing that. And the few times I've talked about this, people are like, oh, I enjoy it while it lasts. And I'm like, yeah, I have. Amelia's six months old. Like I've enjoyed contact napping for six months. <laughs> like I think it's okay that I want a break. So yeah, it feels like it's been a totally different life for me to navigate. You know, I'm used to having my to-do list and busy, 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 do this, do that, what's next kind of thing. And it's really, really taught me just to slow down and to be okay with things not getting done, which is a little, uh, <laughs> How you going for me? But I'm working on it. For bronzer, I've been using this Complexion Wand by Sports Girl. It's a really nice, cool-toned brown. So it does look quite deep, but it blends out really nicely, and it's just perfect for fair skin. Oh my god, I forgot concealer. <laughs> what am I, new at this? I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me. I'm nearly finished this one. But anyway, as I was saying, thank you for your patience and I do appreciate the support. Now that Amelia's wake windows are a bit longer, I have been able to like film a few, you know, videos for Instagram or TikTok. So I'm hoping I can get back into YouTube as well. I've got so much new drugstore makeup that I want to play with and share and try. For brows, I've got the Rimmel Kind my stupid viewfinder is like the opposite way. I can't think of what that's called right now. So every time I hold up a product, 
like it moves the opposite direction. Anyway, who cares? This is the Rimmel Kind and Free pencil in taupe. Today we are off to a sensory class. It's like a, I wouldn't even know if you call it a sensory class, but every week it's like a different theme and it's just fun. Like sing songs, play games, play with other kids. And this week is spooky week. But yeah, it's been good to get out of the house and do those things. We've made a few friends through Mother's Group and some of them also come to this class so it's good to you know, see familiar faces and familiar babies. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with my NYX brow glue. This is my second one. I love this stuff. It's quite a strange formula like it's really sticky and like thick but it just holds onto your brow hairs and like slicks them in place. It's kind of like a soap brow but in a bottle form. And then a product I've been loving which I want to go get some more is this W7 Sharp Brows Brow Pen and I have the shade Brunette. Ever since they discontinued the Essence one, the $5 Essence Brow Pen, you know, I've been really sad and trying to find another drugstore option. This is fantastic. The color doesn't change. It's got a nice thin felt tip wand and it just adds in those strokes that look like brow hairs. Okay, I was going to use my Astralis blushes, but I use them all the time. Another blush I've really been enjoying is this Sports Girl Blush Hour Liquid Blush. I believe they only have one shade called Sold Out. It's a beautiful bright pink. Now, it does have a little bit of glitter in it, and I didn't really notice straight away, but it's still really beautiful. The color is gorgeous, and it has a really nice dewy finish. Okay, I think I uh, went a bit too heavy on this side. <laughs> da -da -da -da, sponge. And then after our class this morning, I'm going to head to the shops. I've got some things from Ikea to pick up. I finally grabbed another set of Alex drawers. I got them off Marketplace, actually. Oh, we had to drive about half an hour to get them. And Amelia is getting better in the car. The first five months was like hell. She would scream any time we got in the car. After five months, it got better, but the other day, I think she was teething and she was just really clingy and she screamed the whole way there and it was just really triggering because she hasn't screamed like that in the car for like a month now. So I picked up the drawers and then I went and stopped um, by the water and put her in the carrier and I was like, right, we'll just go for a walk by the water and I'll get you to have a nap and then maybe you'll be better in the car home. Mm, she did not want a nap so I just had to put her back in the car because I was like well I want to go home and she screamed the whole way home and then I started crying and I just couldn't gather myself and I just I'm not an angry person like I've never been one to like just snap or it's just not how I deal with things I cry <laughs> and I, I don't know if I had to say this so it doesn't come off the wrong way but it's like this mum rage or something, I don't know. But I wanted to yell. I wanted to yell, like, be quiet! And I never would do that. But, you know, you can only take so much before you just want to snap. And, like I said, I, it's not usually who I am and I feel like I have a lot of patience and quite a high tolerance. Oh, but I just... I just wasn't feeling it that day and so I was ringing Clinton and he didn't pick up the phone and I was like oh. and he finally picked up the phone and I was like I just need to talk to you and I just need to hear your voice because I feel like I'm gonna yell and I just want to get home and get her out of the car seat because as soon as I get her out of the car seat she stops crying and he was like it's okay it's okay like just pull over if you need I was like I already did it didn't work oh. Oh, and then by the time I get home, like, I've got to, you know, calm myself down so that I can then calm her down. Oh, it was a lot, but I got the drawers. So this is the blush. I know I've got a lot on, but I do love a little rosy cheek moment. I'm not going to put highlighter on because I feel like, mm, I feel like there's enough there. I've really been not using powder as much lately as well. If I do, I go in with a little bit of the CoverGirl Clean Fresh, which is one of my faves, and they've actually just released a... Let me see if I can see it. A new powder, but it's like lighter. So I really want to try that. But I also have been using this Kosas Cloud Set, and I know I'm usually a drugstore girl, but this 
oh my god it's such a beautiful lightweight powder it just like smooths the skin it's beautiful but today I don't think I'll put any on my under eyes if they get a little creasy I've just been tapping them out and I feel like my chin and t-zone's been a little bit dry lately so the powder just looks a bit ugh, especially with the breakouts for eyeshadow I'm going to use some of this Mecca Max zoom shadow stick in taupe this is just a really easy one one and done kind of shadow um but as i was saying <laughs> so i got the alex drawers and today i'm going to pick up a desktop from ikea and then i can kind of like reorganize my makeup because it's just starting to pile up and it's messy and it stresses me out so i want to get it all organized and pretty it'll probably take me a while you know i don't have the same amount of free time as i used to organizing my makeup just it just feels good and it makes me happy so even if i can get like a little bit in every couple days it's a little bit of me time you know a you know. and then for underneath I just take a little bit on a brush and zhush, 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 zhush. I've got bloody Wiggles songs stuck in my head. Who am I? In the mornings we um, put a bit of music on. I usually just like to put on like normal music that I would listen to because I just can't do like nursery rhymes all the time especially while she's little and has no say in it. <laughs> We're gonna listen to Bunny's 90s and 2000s R&B, okay? So we're listening to that, but then the other day I watched the Wiggles documentary and I would have watched that if I didn't have Amelia anyway. And it was just so nostalgic. Like I was like fighting tears watching it. I don't know, it just made me so happy. And like just the voices of the original Wiggles are just so soothing and comforting. I've got five younger siblings, so Wiggles was around in our household for a long, 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 long time. So yesterday afternoon, I put on some Wiggles songs and I was just like jamming out to those, probably having a better time than Amelia. <laughs> oh, I just wanted to talk about this other blush for a second. It's the Kmart Retro Dream blush sticks now i did test these on my instagram and this is this is why i like youtube because i can blah, 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 blah about products whereas on instagram i just created a reel testing them out and you know so i hadn't really used them and gathered my proper thoughts but now that i have the colors are beautiful but it just moves the product underneath too easily even if you just blend a little bit the product underneath has moved so that really annoys me. They're just super emollient. Really, I wouldn't recommend them. I haven't tried the blushes like this yet. This bronzer I have been enjoying though. Um, where was I at? Mascara. I've been going in with the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. This is the brown. It's not like a super chocolatey brown, but it's still pretty brown. <laughs> What a dumb sentence. Another mascara I've been obsessed with, and I don't usually go for high-end mascaras, but this one was sent to me. It's the Benefit Fan Fest. Oh, this makes my lashes like next level. It is beautiful. Maybe I should use this today. Oh, what, 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 what. Going in with the Maybelline. But yeah, I do have a reel on my Instagram using the Benefit, so if you want to see what that looks like, I'll link it below. Emco Beauty have been releasing so many new products and they did a 50% off for their birthday this week and I saw the email in the morning. I went to buy products like after lunch and so much stuff was sold out. I was like, man, because I really want to get it all and film a YouTube video with it because my last full face of Emco Beauty, you guys seem to really enjoy that. It's got so many more views than my other videos. So I really want to do another one with a lot of their newer products. They've got new foundations, the matte blush ones. Um, I can't even think right now. But yeah, I really want to get my hands on all of it. So. It goes on sale all the time, like at Chemist Warehouse or Big W or Woolworths, so I'll just keep my eyes out. If you guys have tried any of the newer um, Emco Beauty releases, leave me a comment let me know what you've tried and what you think. What do I absolutely need to get my hands on? I feel like lately it's just been blush. I'm like, ooh, a new blush, better try that. Ooh, blush, ooh. 
Like, calm down, Tanika. Another just a quick review. I've been trying the new formulated Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation. Now, I used to love the original, but it was like a long time ago. I haven't used it for a while. And this new formula is more hydrating. It's got hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. Now, it just doesn't last on me. It just doesn't. Like, it looks good, like, on my cheeks and my forehead, but around my chin. And I don't know if this just could be right now, where my skin's just a bit icky. But it just starts to break up and within like a few hours and I'm not here for that and it claims to be long lasting so that's a bummer. I'm still gonna like give it another chance or two maybe when my skin clears up a bit. Oh Amelia's awake. Hold please. All right you sit here with mama. I can't even remember what I was talking about before she woke up. <laughs> But anyway, I'm nearly done. How good is that? I'm just going to go in with a bit of a setting spray. I've got the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. They have repackaged this. I don't think it's been reformulated, but it's got like red and white packaging now. Now, lately I've just been going in with some kind of gloss or lip balm, just something super easy. But from the Priceline sale recently, I picked up two mm. new shades mm. in the Maybelline vinyl ink range. I don't know when they released more shades, but I'm here for it. So this is the shade Punchy. And then this shade Captivated is more of a nude, which when they first come out, I was like, I really want something a bit more nude. Look at that. Perfect. I know these have had quite mixed reviews. A lot of you said that they don't actually last on you, which is such a shame because I tested it out properly one day, like I filmed a reel for it and it lasted all day through eating and drinking, like amazing. Mm, quite a, a light nude, isn't it? Let's see, hopefully it doesn't blend into my skin tone too much. All right, I am liking this shade. It is a bit, I don't know if it's a bit too nude. I think a lip liner would probably make it a bit better, but it's what I wanted. I wanted a nude shade in this formula. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. I cannot believe I got to film a makeup video. <laughs> I feel like this was a good start to the morning. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below and hopefully I will get to film another makeup video soon. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram. I'm a lot more active on there. It's just a bit easier to upload over there right now. But otherwise, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.